Yeah, I became a runner after I was a swimmer for about 10, 15 years. I was a runner, not a swimmer. And then I got back into the pool because my body just couldn't take the running anymore. And uh, so I've been swimming regular since then just to stay in shape. Uh, and then about five years ago, I started doing one master's meet a year just for something to shoot for. And I've enjoyed that. And I've been able to see Dan Stevenson there. And, um, but you know, all these other guys, I always wonder when you're interviewing these guys, I always wonder, I wonder if they're still swimming because there's a, there's a message that I kind of want to get out to guys is I find that a lot of swimmers really don't want to swim anymore. And, um, and, and what my take on that is that they're, they, they should try it. They should try getting in the pool again, not to compete, but just because um, as they get older, their body won't put up with a lot of exercise, but it will put up with swimming. And it's something that they're good at. And they could get in and they don't have to do the workout that anyone's telling them to do. They don't have to go in the morning like they used to. They can go whenever they can and they can do whatever they want. And I think, I think they'd enjoy it and they would find that there's something very nice about reconnecting with swimming when it's not 10,000 yard workouts and six o'clock in the morning and all that stuff. Um, I found that, you know, the pool is my friend. The pool is, uh, helps me mentally more than physically. And um, it's quiet in there. There's no phone. There's no, nobody's bothering you. The time is your own. And so I would love it if, uh, if guys who swore off swimming would try it again on their own terms. I think they might enjoy it.